Hi, I'm Ronnie from Ronnie's Garage. We're holding our monthly tech meet at my shop, and we're going to be talking about a Silver Cloud 3 engine and a crack block. Today, we're going to talk about a Silver Cloud 3 engine. And the car came out of, if you see that blue and silver one just outside the building there, uh, it belongs to a longtime customer and a family. They've owned it 30 plus years. And the car ran really good. The only problem is, is it had a coolant leak. Now the coolant, I'll, I'll show you this other block here. The coolant leak was coming from a weep hole. Uh, those of you who can't see, you can come around the other side here, just be careful, it's dirty and it's, there's, there's treacherous things and you can't stand right in front. Um, I know Ray pretty well, so he's, he's had the mis, uh, misfortune to have me work on one of his cars, an old Daimler. So what you... It's blasphemy. 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 To have a Daimler. Yes, it is, truly. So a weep hole is this little hole right here. There's a little hole right there. There's four of them on each side. And it had coolant <laughs> dripping out of it. And it was on this end block right there. So just so you understand, this is an aluminum block that has cast iron sleeves that go inside of it. Right? You can see right here, sorry if I'm moving too fast, these will slide in there. They're hard to get out when they've been in there a while. And inside there are O-rings. There's a big O-ring up here on the top, small one. There's another one down below. And what that does is seal the coolant in in these passages. Okay. And then there's another O-ring down below which seals off the crankcase, which will have some pressure, especially if you have a lot of blow-by. And the idea is, should one of the coolant O-rings fail, water will come out of the engine rather than into the engine to ruin bearings, mix with the oil, turn your oil into like uh, pudding. Uh, so the most common problem with this, this type of engine, they, they've used this engine block since 1959 it first came out, all the way up to the 2000s. All the V8s, it's the same basic block. There's different configuration for the clouds and the, and the shadows and on. Uh, but typically, these will leak oil. Real common problem. Uh, and th the right way to fix it is to do what you see right here. Take the engine completely apart, pull these sleeves out, put the new O-rings in. But what the normal fix is, if it's only oil, is to plug these holes. So what we'll do is we'll clean them out, we'll put a drive screw or a, a sheet metal screw in there with sealer and we'll pull off whatever we have to to access them on the car, seal them up, and no more oil leak. Uh, the only danger is if you do have a coolant ring let go, it's going to go in the engine. Uh, but when they leak coolant, you're kind of screwed. Uh, what I have tried and have had minimal success with in the past is to clean out or uh, flush out the cooling system, use a uh, chemical block sealant, uh, run it through and follow the directions. This one I was, we tried was KW block sealer and I've had luck with it in the past occasionally, but uh, this one didn't do it. You have to clean out the this, this system, flush it out three or four times to get all the coolant out and then you put the sealer in there and run it a whole lot and then you drain that again and then you leave everything open and let it dry for a few days. And, uh, it didn't work on this car. Uh, so, what started out as hopefully a quick fix didn't. So uh, you know, I talked to the customer and here's a, a conversation that I have with a lot of customers and that is, okay, let's say, I told them it was going to be about 30 grand to fix the coolant. It's not a complete engine overhaul, just so you know. That's to fix the coolant leak, which involves pulling the engine apart, pulling all these things out, cleaning the block, and then putting it back together with the new O-rings. And then I will put new rings on, typically on the pistons, and do a valve job, since we have it all out. Uh, and he said, man, it's a lot of money. Uh, what's the car worth? And that car's probably worth 50 grand all day long, at least. Um, so you figure 30000 oh man, that's a lot of money. And here's where most people get 
They go beyond sometimes what a car is worth. That's the reason that people will spend more than a car is worth. He goes, well, my dad and I bought that together. My dad's in a home now. Uh, he's got Alzheimer's. He's old. And there's an emotional attachment. And then, then I just I threw in that little kicker. I said, well, how much money have you spent on this in 30 years? Oh, not much, really. OK, well, then amortize that. It's $1,000 a year. And, and that, it's, I'm not trying to tell a guy to do it. I'm just trying to help him take all the facts and make a decision. It's his decision. And he says, well, that makes it a no-brainer then. I'm going to do it. And you look at it that way. Plus, that, that's, that's actually the Silver Cloud series has just jumped a level on uh, investment grade, at least according to the sports car market. They went from a C level to a B level. In other words, hold. Hold on. So they're, they're going to go up in value. And that's my opinion. It has been for a long time. So we... $1,000 um, a year for maintenance. Right. When you, when you amortize it like that, it doesn't seem like much at all. It's just paying that 30 grand. Sorry, I didn't pay attention. Is that a right or left? It's a left-hand drive. Uh, left-hand drive. It's a continental car. It's made for the continent instead of the island. So it has... It's, uh, it's just got some other features that are different. Um, but it's got crank windows, which is kind of a not as desirable. It doesn't matter. It's a pretty decent, solid old car. It's not rusty or anything like that. So he agreed to it, gave me a deposit, and we tore it, pulled his engine out, tore it apart, pulled the liners out, and then we saw the bad news. For some reason, this happens to Silver Cloud blocks more than any others that I've seen. The twos, hardly ever. This is a Silver Two Cloud or a Silver Cloud II block right here. And what happened is we found that this thing has got a bad block. It's got a crack in it. Uh, I want everybody to come over here and look at it if they can, just so you can get a feel for it. Uh, first of all, you'll see a lot of corrosion. This has already been cleaned out. It was really bad when we tore it apart. And you can see down here, when you get in here, there's a big chunk fell out when it was coming apart because it was so deteriorated, it got weak. And then when we pull it out of this wash tank over here, which is about 180 degrees, jet washer, it's all nice and clean. You can see every crack. And this had a crack that, if you look closely, when you get over here, it extends down beyond the O-rings into, it actually, yeah, if you follow it, it goes down, way down into about this far, about down to that mark. So can you see that, Steve, with the camera? I want people to see on this side. We, we post these on YouTube, Sam knows that. Um, so the crack, if you look at it real close, I don't know if we can do it from this side. Yeah, this is probably the best way. There we go. Um, but it goes down, and when it's hot, that crack went almost all the way down to here. And that's down into the main bearing web. Oh my. Is that it right, that one? Well, this is, the, this, this is where it starts. But it also continues down here, and there's a crack that goes down there. And that's where the coolant was going by. I just didn't want to seal. So a sealer will work on simple stuff. Here, you can use that if you want. Let's do that. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That's what I wanted. There you go. I'll let you look at it. I'll talk about it. I'm a... Almost 40 years of mechanics, so I can put my hands in a lot of weird places. <laughs> um, so where was I? So bad news. Needs a block. About, I think it was six years ago, I did an engine on a, another Silver Cloud 3, Chinese Eye, and we had a crack block also. Uh, so I called the factory, the dealer, and they called the factory. Just sold the last block. <laughs> Brand new block. Well, what, what what did that cost, by the way? Twenty-five grand. Oh, are they aluminum, Ronnie? Yes, and that's basically what you see right here. But I don't think the studs are in. So that's a bear. That's just the 